Hey everyone, this is Karen Rasmussen on the board for the Women's Wine Guild. I am the fine wine specialist for Classic Beverage Company and also own my own small business uh, for private wine events called The Casual Psalm. And for the restaurant I would like to feature, I picked the Bindery here on 1817 Central Street in Denver. And they're offering an awesome takeout and delivery program right now. I'm here to talk to chef owner Linda Hampston Fox and sommelier Angela Black. Um, this is one of my favorite businesses in town. It's female owned. They're one of our uh, business partners with the Women's Wine Guild, offering discounts to our members. And I just feel it's really important to support an incredible female-run business like this right now. They are doing orders for takeout and delivery. Just have to call their phone number here, 303-993-2364, uh, or you can go on their website to order some specially customized care packages uh, that they now make to go online. And they also offer uh, delivery via DoorDash. So come in with me as we get to meet the faces behind the bindery. Ladies, can you introduce yourselves for me? Yes, I'm Linda Hampson Fox, the chef and owner of the bindery. I'm Angela Black, the general manager and wine buyer of the bindery. Awesome. And so now I'm just going to ask Linda a few questions about kind of how uh, you came to this point in your life and what made you decide to start the bindery here in Denver? That's a great question um, and everyone asked it, um, especially since I have four kids who are completely grown and out of the nest and everyone's like, why are you doing this now? <laughs> and part of it was I was waiting for them to get out of the nest because for a little while I was a single mom and I really um, wanted to still do what I love to do but also have the time to dedicate to my daughter. So I was working on this project for a long time and when she left for college, it was, it was time to do it. And um, I knew I wanted to be in this neighborhood in Lohi in Denver. And I searched a long time for the right location. Um, I actually kind of beat out Starbucks for this build out here. Nice. Um, it was a new construction. There was supposed to be a Starbucks and another kind of corporate thing and I came in with my business plan and I, I convinced this developer to give me this space and so um, so it began I was quite excited to have this location and I knew I wanted the bindery to be an all-day concept partly because of the years I lived in Europe and I had experienced restaurants like this that anchored little villages like you would go in the morning and have a great coffee or espresso and a little pastry and then maybe you'd meander back in the daytime for a panini or um, some uh, aperitivo in the afternoon and eventually it was a gathering place for great made by scratch food and, and so this was modeled after my experience my years living in Europe um, a neighborhood anchor that offered things for everyone from the morning through the evening. Um, so that was kind of the inspiration. It actually took a lot longer to open than I realized. There were many hiccups. And so my daughter was almost graduating by the time we opened this. Um, and um, anyway, we're here and it's the beginning of our third year. Certainly we were not expecting to find ourselves or the, the world at, in a pandemic. Um, and so right now we have changed what we're doing to a, a takeaway program. And we have something that we offer in the morning, afternoon, our dinner service, lots of great baked goods still, fresh bread. It's something that we're finding the neighborhood's really coming in for. We make handmade pastas and scratch sauces and a lot of people are like, oh, I'll just buy that frozen pappardelle and some pesto and get a loaf of bread and now a bottle of wine. And as Angela has curated just such a, a really beautiful wine, uh, wine list. Um, Agreed. Like very approachable, but unique. Um, people are just loving that they can come in right now and buy wine and our 
takeaway food. So thankfully, we're able to continue working and um, we have a new project that we're doing as well, which if you come this way, I will show you. It was inspired by the fact that my daughter right now is in Boulder with her father. And I haven't seen her for weeks. And I thought, man, I, I want to send her a little care package. And my parents used to do that for me when I was in college at the University of Boulder. And so the idea was, was born that we could send little care packages to everyone, anywhere. And if you have a friend who lives a few blocks away, but you're not supposed to see them, or if you've got, you know, an aunt in North Carolina or wherever, we'll ship it out. So these packages right here are um, our binder granola. Um, we've got six of our cookies, peanut butter and chocolate chip. This is a banana dolce di leche um, bread and a little strawberry ginger jam. So we're putting together about 30 orders right now that are going out. We launched this yesterday afternoon and we had a great response. Great idea. Um, yeah, it was really fun. And it's called un tocco. That in Italian, un tocco means a touch. And so right now, you know, the whole social distancing thing, you're not supposed to physically touch someone. Um, so this is the way you can touch someone and let them know that you are thinking about them or miss them. So really a, a fun project. We find ourselves making all kinds of things right now that we normally don't do. We have an idea and we're like, oh hey, let's let's make some grilled chicken salad with, with yogurt and tons of palm or um, we've got some great tapenade here. They're working on baba ganoush in the back. Some of our fresh pastas that we're selling with sauces. And also the bar has batched up a bunch of Really fun cocktails. Yum. And so, yeah, these are great. They're two cocktails per jar, and the it's it's just super wonderful. We've got bar notes, all our usual goodies. Love so, it. Um, if you head back through this area, you can see it's like a factory in here right now. We've yeah, you guys have had to change a lot. And, um, packages and dinners that are heading out in a little while. Awesome. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Hey, um, Miss Angela. Hey. <laughs> what uh, do you have you back know, here? Love it. <laughs> I wish it was an abnormal thing because of the circumstances, but uh, we have quite a bit of wine, as you can see. Uh, we're still doing everything by the bottle. Now we can do it to go. We can do glasses of wine to go, milk to go cups. In fact, all of our alcohol to go. We're doing 30% off all bottles, and right now we're still doing 30% off beer and liquor and cocktails and stuff like that too. If anyone wants to come in for that, awesome. Um, we've got all kinds of wine at every price point. I've got some that I can sell for as low as 20, some that would be up to maybe a hundred, a hundred with the 30% off. So Italian, all kinds of Italian, moves in the French, moves down on American across the way here. Um, Quite a say. selection. Lots of stuff. We've got a bubble cooler down over there. And Angela, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Treviano. Mmm. So <laughs> <laughs> we all have white wine too. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Yep, yep. Some interesting ones. The ferment. This one's delicious. The dry ferment. Ooh, it's yum. Super fun. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. And Angela, how did you come to the bindery? What's your background? Well, I've been doing restaurants some way, shape, or form off and on for 25 years now, I guess. Um, but, I mean, it's it's Chef Linda's food. I've lived all over the country, and this is by far one of the best restaurants in Denver, for sure. Um, so yeah, once you work with real elevated food like I have in a couple other places in other cities, it's you can't really go back. So I've been here. I was started bartending, I was serving, I was kind of front of the house manager for a little while, I was bar manager for a little while, now I'm the general manager, is what we call me these days, <laughs> and buying wine, yeah, which was a little over my head at first, but it's been great, learned a lot, got to taste a lot of wine in the last six months, and uh, yeah, definitely have a passion for that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's safe to be here. 
it's like to be supporting the awesome work you guys are doing. These guys back here still going. I love it. Say hi, Jaime. Say hi, Jaime. Oh, there he is. Hello. One of our sous chefs there. They're all kind of sous chefs right now, honestly. I know, all hands on deck. Yeah, totally. Hello again guys, thank you for joining me on this mini tour of the bindery uh, with social distancing in mind, of course. Um, this is some of my favorite food in the city. I love their wine list so much. Linda and Angela are wonderful people, as you can tell, and anything you can do to support them right now, uh, show some local love would be greatly appreciated and they are a business member of the Women's Wine Guild as well So we do work very closely with them on partnership too um, So if you guys would like to order some food from the bindery um, go ahead and call their phone number which is Right here, 303-993-2364. And if you want to do one of the to-go boxes that we were talking about with Linda earlier, um, go ahead and order those online. They are also offering curbside delivery and takeout via DoorDash too. The Bindery. Thank you. Hey everyone, I am now back home from my visit to the bindery and I got their super power bowl salad takeout, which I'm super excited about. Look at all these freshies in here. Um, and then I also got their fresh sourdough bread to go, um, which is looking super delicious as well. So here's to the bindery, go support them. They've got great food.